the long-awaited launch of the James Webb Space Telescope is planned for September and astronomers are getting excited at the scale of discovery being offered by the new technology. The replacement for the Kepler telescope has the scientific community buzzing with anticipation. Some scientists are excited at the prospect of travelling through time to discover the origin story of our universe, while others hope it will help us connect the dots between classical and quantum physics. In an interview over the weekend, world-renowned physicist Michio Kaku, one of the scientists responsible for string theory, told The Guardian that he didn't think humans should contact any aliens if we find them, simply saying that Soon we'll have the Webb telescope up in orbit and we'll have thousands of planets to look at, and that's why I think the chances are quite high that we make contact with an alien civilization. There are some colleagues of mine that think that we should reach out to them, but I think that's a terrible idea. We all know what happened to Montezuma when he met Cortez in Mexico so many hundreds of years ago. This of course has sparked an interesting debate, and Tristan Green writes that it's interesting that Kiku would bring up Montezuma and Cortez in the context that he has brought them up in. As legend has it, Montezuma II accidentally ceded the entire Aztec Empire to Cortez, a Spanish conquistador, over a language misunderstanding. According to historians, Montezuma II told Cortez that he'd been keeping the Aztec throne warm for him, but he meant it as a bragging, sarcastic way. Cortez apparently didn't get the tone, and the rest, they say, is history. It seems like Kaku is warning that were we to find aliens and make contact, Earthlings would be the Aztecs and aliens would be the Spanish invaders. Maybe we send a message such as, we come in peace, when we discover them, and aliens could simply interpret that as, come rule us, I mean it could happen. We could engage in endless conjecture when it comes to discussing what might happen if and when we ever discover alien life instead. Let's just take a moment to state some key facts about the James Webb Space Telescope so we can see how they tie in to what we might find ET-wise when the going gets going. It is 100 times more powerful than the Hubble Space Telescope and uses infrared scanning technology to see things further away and with greater detail, and Tristan Green has theorised that the possibility of discovering alien life as early as next year. What would that mean? We have no way of knowing what kind of aliens we might discover, and yes, it could even mean that we discover intelligent life. The only thing we can know for sure is that any life we do encounter should be very, very afraid of us. Nearly every civilization that's inhabited this world either warred with other civilizations or was dominated by one or more that did. Even today, Earth is inhabited by roughly 8 billion people who exist under a planet-wide policy mutually assured destruction. Almost everything about the state of our world indicates violence is inevitable where humans are present. If we ever do meet an intelligent species similar to our own, we are likely to go to war. And this prognosis is even worse for any unintelligent life forms we may come across. More than 41,000 species on Earth are currently endangered. And in order to protect any alien critters from our ceaseless destruction, we'll have to treat their world with far greater reverence and respect than we currently do our own. But what do you guys think about the potential of the James Webb Space Telescope? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.